a great tool, very simple, lightweight, easy to get into, the, especially around the thighs, I like this a lot, and the spine. Uh, for the lower limb, I prefer the massage ball, but for the adductors, the quads, the lateral quad, hamstrings, really like it. Um, getting into the spine as well, just kind of getting that mobility, rather than being a bit more direct and sharp, like the massage ball, it's a little bit of a, a blunter tool and it spreads it over a few more segments, but you can really get in there and mobilize that thoracic region that is tight in most people. Uh, so we'll come down, we're gonna work around the thigh. So to start off, just keeping that core active and then just going from the groin to the knee. I'm just getting these eight lines around the thigh. So there's the adductor line. You can do the activation, active release. A lot of people always question, you know, how I get so flexible through the adductors, but I do this stuff every day. Um, it helps relieve the tension through there. Some days I'm tighter from different workouts. But yeah, it's just working on that, just keeping that. Uh, circulation of nutrients, removing waste products, getting nutrition in, just really getting that compression on all those cells so they stay healthy. So then we've got the medial uh, quad, but then we're going to work around straight down the quad, so vastus medialis, and then straight up and down the rectus femoris, vastus intermedius, and if you get a good spot, do those leg curls on it, keeping that core active. Right in on that patella tendon just above the patella. And then you come in the lateral. Walk there. That's just lateralis right up into the hip. Getting into TFL, tensor fascia lateral at the top. Getting into those glute mid, mid two. And then doing some leg curls. Then coming right up. That lateral hip, coming around into the hamstring, the lateral hamstring, it's good. Just controlling the amount of pressure with the other foot. These ones are fine, it's a bit harder to get a bit more pressure. Um, and it's really only after heavy hamstring work that they're a bit sensitive that you can feel these as much, but the ball I find is a bit more effective in the hamstring. Still, it's good to roll over it. And I go straight on the hamstring and medial hamstring, and that's the complete eight lines. Going into the glute from there, getting that before I get into the other thigh. So I'm just finding when that's tight, getting a decent amount of weight, hitting some different angles. Just trying to unlock that on the other side. So I'm doing them all on the left. So again, just repeating that same process from the adductor into vastus medialis, doing that, doing some active releases, slowly grind it through, really trying to separate that fascia from the muscle and break down any adhesions in there that are restricting movement. Just trying to make sure in your body that you're not going around with the brakes on, that you really facilitate it and that those movements are nice and easy you can accelerate without breaking, getting in that lateral quad, coming up and down, really working on that band there, the articular band, and then coming into that lateral hamstring, biceps femoris, turning the tension in there, straight even up on the hamstrings, and then you go to medial. Semi tendinosis, semi membranosis. Find where they're tight. Up onto the glute. That completes both thighs. Pretty simple. Great to do every day, getting in touch with those muscles. Then the lower back on here is a bit more, a bit more dynamic than with the ball, so you can kind of roll up and down on that angle. So you're hitting that one side and then the other side and then getting dynamic through the lower back right up to the neck. Look at that. Keeping that core active. And then finding the spots that you're tight, working the breath. You can breathe either way as long as it's nice and complete. So you can kind of breathe in 
close down to the reverse of the crunch and then exhale, lengthen and just let that air come out. Um, or you can do the exhale this way and then just inhale into it so it's more active. But all the senses excite on the inhalation so you get a better release by breathing in and then holding that and then bringing it out and relaxing. Raise your arms up in the head. Let's hit all those different angles. Go a bit lateral. Just finding all your tight spots in around the ribs, which most of us have got, got many from sitting down all the time. And get it to the back of the neck and lift that. You just want to be creative but keep it safe and just listen to your body, you know. If anything feels a bit off, don't force it. Lats are good to get into. Big breath in, breathe out. Not lats there. You can also get into those rotator cuff muscles, internal external rotators, on the shoulder, teres major, teres minor, infraspinatus. side. Then I find the calves much better with the massage ball. Uh, the pecs are okay, depending if you've done you know, dips or chest press or something that's pretty tender. Or you're just super tight through there. Let's do the action release in it. But yeah, for the forearms, just like with the lower limb. Um, in the wrists and stuff, I just prefer that massage ball a bit more of a direct tool. But pretty simple. Great for the spine to really open up that rib cage to facilitate better breathing, which most of us are in need of, uh, just for recovery, for relaxation and general health, and filtering out the air that we're breathing in all the time. So breathing through the nose is really important, but yeah, oxygenating every cell. So enjoy that, get into it. Keep it going, make it a daily do and um, daily deal. And uh, just uh, make sure you're really listening to your body and working with your tissues.